Hey everyone, Sean here. Welcome to Transverse TV. Um, a little bit of an update, I suppose. Uh, last week, my dad confronted me, or brought up the fact that I talked to my doctor about being trans and me wanting to start transitioning. He brought it up because my mom talked to him about it, and I am just so glad that He's cool with it. He was like, you know, we accept you and we'll support you for whatever decisions you make and that was just awesome. And um, although I may not be starting transition as such as um, physical stuff anytime soon really, I'm probably going to hold it off till after graduation, which is like two years, not bad, oh, I can wait, um, is the point, and another point is, like, both of my parents support me in what I want to do, and that's just totally awesome, awesome, yeah, uh, but this week I will talk about personal safety, which is something pretty significant and important for us trans LGBTQ people and everybody in the world out there, to be honest. Uh, but especially for us trans people when we go out. And if it's like early in transition, we kind of run the risk of being targeted due to passing or not passing or just like overall presentation and people's views and targeting, but um, as far as I'm concerned, to avoid that and to stay safe, I believe you should be totally aware of your surroundings. Um, the more you look like you know what's going on around you, the less that people will try to mess with you, try to target you because you know what's going on. Another important thing is to know the area you're in, know where the safe places are, where you can like ask for help, where there's like a police station, um, somewhere you can go where you know you're not going to get like cornered or tracked down or you could always like call the police. Um, definitely stay away from alleyways and sketchy places. And, um, when it comes down to, like, walking, um, especially, like, in the big city area, uh, a lot of people take public transportation or they walk. And if you're alone and it's after a certain time, um, you've got to be really careful because there are people out there like wandering and if it's like late at night and there's no one around it makes you an easier target especially if you're alone so um don't walk alone try to take a cab if you have to or like ride a bike um yeah try to stay in numbers or with at least one other person so you don't get as easily targeted if it's like after that certain time and if it comes down to being attacked or assaulted or like mugging um just give them whatever you have like throw it one way and run the other way and if it comes to like assault uh, fucking run or scream and shit, yeah. Um, self-defense, first of all, yeah, that's important. I would totally try to explain self-defense here, since I know well enough about it being a martial artist, but that would take too long. So, um, I will post you a link down there 
to this Tumblr post that that's been going around about self-defense and like where to hit. It's actually pretty accurate and well done, so I'll post that down there for you guys. Uh, personally, I have never had to deal with being attacked or anything like that. Um, so I can't say much about that. I've only ever been like catcalled or like insulted or pushed in the hallway. But that's it. Um, another thing is that it's more likely that you're going to get um, it's more likely that it could be less safe with someone you know as opposed to like a stranger like it's more likely that you'll be targeted by like a date or a co-worker apparently especially if they don't know about you and if they don't accept trans people um don't go on a date with someone who you know might kick your ass if they knew you were trans um don't let the um excuse me for this the glory of passing like um totally blind you and your safety because your safety should come first first of all um so don't run the risk of that um I think that's all I've got to say on this topic for today. So, I hope you guys have a good week. I hope to hear from you all. Bye!